It's moving week. He is over here trying to get fresh for the vlog. I'm trying to get fresh for the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we just pulled up at the title company to sign for the sale of our home. Um, it's not gonna take long, it's like a half hour. I think we have like very few things to sign, but yes, it's official. The sale is becoming official. They don't close officially till Monday, which is six days, five days from now. Um, but this is our part of the closing paperwork, and we're just we're in great spirits, guys. Okay, we're in great spirits. We're gonna come in here. We've got stuff in the trunk to take to Goodwill. We've got some things to pick up from the store. I need to make a return. I also need some food. Do you Bruh, I'm I was about to say I'm hoping you're hungry too, cause I. I'm always hungry. <laughs> That's and not true. And you know this. No, you're not always hungry. Sometimes you'd be like, nah, I don't feel like eating right I'll now. I'll always eat. That sounds crazy. <laughs> Pause. So yeah, come along with us. All of my meetings got can't. Well, there was only one. <laughs> Let me not be dramatic. There's only one other meeting on my schedule today, and it got rescheduled. And I don't work tomorrow, Thursday or Friday. So basically, we out here. Nobody needs anything from me. We out here, so we're doing stuff all day, and then we're gonna go back um, and finish up some more packing, cause he goes back to work tomorrow. So yeah, I'm trying my best, y'all. Do y'all see my effort in trying to bring y'all along with this process and stay up to date with stuff so that y'all can be in real time with us, and I don't do a 12 part series a year from now <laughs> about all the things that happen. I'm trying, so I might make some time to do that today. I know. He's staying on me, y'all. He's my accountability partner for making sure that I get content out. So, I'm very excited, though. So Work! Ah! It's signing day! Get up here! Let's <laughs> dance!
happy day, Saints. It is Wednesday, June 19th. Happy Juneteenth, everybody. We got a lot of stuff done last night. It may not look much different, but we got quite a bit of stuff done last night. Um, today is my first official day off, and Babe is at work, so we traded places. Um, but the carpet is rolled up. I think I caught that on video last night. The carpet's rolled up. Um, we got quite a bit of stuff down here. Upstairs, the second bedroom is all packed up. It just needs to be moved out. So basically, I am taking over and probably going to do my best to get most of it done tonight. Even though we have from now until Sunday evening of just free time but y'all know me i very much love to just knock stuff out get it done get it out the way and then we can just chill so especially while i'm on this like momentum wave of energy we're gonna take advantage of that so um current things i have to do i am about to head out to first chick-fil-a because <laughs> i'm hungry um and our fridge is officially cleared out um so chick-fil-a then I'm gonna go to Walmart, I think is where I wanna go. I need to look one up though, cause I'm not going to the one closest to me cause it is ratchet and always a mess. And I'm just very much over it. Cause I need to get some bubble wrap. I need to get, I made a list on my phone. I couldn't even tell you where my phone is right now. Um, but we need bubble wrap. We need, what else do we need? Oh, I need some like plastic tarps for the couch. Um, it does separate into two pieces, but um, we want to wrap it in like some plastic because we have an outdoor storage unit. Um, and that's what's really wild is today's the first day of our reservation for our storage unit. I got our entry code a couple hours ago. So I may, may try to do a load um, and take it to the storage unit tonight um, I might I'm considering it um, just of like some of these boxes that are already full and already ready to go just need to get taped up and marked um, yeah so that's kind of the plan for today like I said food is first getting our items we have to come back here because we have a Facebook marketplace pickup actually hopefully two today the guy is coming to get the bar stools and then um, these reindeer these holiday reindeer a guy came to pick them up on Sunday and didn't bring a vehicle that was big enough for them so he said he has a bigger car so he is supposed to be coming today to pick them up but I haven't got a confirmation so I don't know but yeah, so we gotta come back in time for that. And then once the pickups have happened, I will probably head to the storage unit. At the very least to just check it out and see what's in it. But I do think I'm gonna take some items that I can just get out the way. So progress is being made. I am very, 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 very excited. I'm also very excited because Sorry, trying to find my phone. Because y'all, this hair, I know y'all have witnessed it. I am sure some people have been concerned for my livelihood because I have been looking like I am just going through hard times. And it's not necessarily on purpose. I mean, I just need a whole wardrobe redo. And I honestly think while we're saving all this money over the summer, I'm not gonna do it then because like we gotta be smart about our money. But I think I am just gonna get a few foundational pieces because your girl has just lost touch with her style. It's just way easier to just put on some leggings and oversized t-shirts, especially with my new current size. Like I have gained some weight things, okay? I'm not out here, you know, reckless with it, but I very much have gained weight. And I don't know how to dress for this midsection. Like, I'm usually a girl who can wear a fitted tee or a fitted something on my upper, but I don't like how that looks anymore until I hit the gym and lose a couple pounds. So, I really don't know where my phone is, guys. Oh, it's right here. Ha <laughs> ha, all this to say, I got rid of so many clothes didn't really have any clothes that fit um because my bottoms barely fit barely and then i got rid of just a bunch of stuff i haven't worn in a very long time so 
t-shirts and leggings is really all I have. Why did I bring this up? Because it also translates to my hair. So y'all know I got the bob cut in April, I think March or April. And I love the bob, but I thought I was gonna be in my straight natural hair girl era. But what I ran into is I never get heat damage, like ever. And I honestly was scared to even wear it as a bob often. I think I did it three or four, maybe five times I've pressed it since I've gotten a cut and I started to see some curls loosening in the back. Not bad, like honestly, even in these sideburns, it's not this bad. But I'm just saying like in the back, I have some pieces that are really like loosening. Again, not terrible, not looking like full heat damage. Like obviously my hair full out is still very curly and very like, it's not damaged. But it freaked, it, it freaked me out y'all, it spooked me. I was like, wait, no, I don't actually want to harm my natural curls, it's not the way. So I still love the bob, but my hair I used to maybe press twice a year, maybe three times a year. So I'm going back to that wave, I'm very much not going to be a straight hair girly, but because of that and because of the length, I'm just stuck doing this weird like doo-doo ponytail bun situation. It's just very much not cute. I cannot be bothered. I would rather just have some braids, throw it up in a bun, wake up, get where I'm going. I don't have, I don't have time for this. I'm not in my natural hair girl era like I once was. Not currently, so. All that to say, I was able to get a braid appointment for tomorrow. One thing about me, I'm gonna go to the person with the best price, okay? Good quality, best price. You, you got me sold. I'm sorry. I'm not loyal to braiders. These braiders and these prices and inflation, I'm going to whoever has the best price and has a suitable location that I, you know, don't feel like I'm unsafe, amen, or it's not dirty. So, anywho, I'm, I'm talking to y'all and I'm supposed to be gone. So I'm about to head out right now and let's go to Chick-fil-A and run some errands. Guys, it's officially moving week. We are so excited. Most of the house is already packed up, but I do have some errands to run today. I am off today for Juneteenth, and then I took off tomorrow and Friday as well. We have to be out of the house by the end of the day on Sunday. So come with me to run some errands and pick up some things. First stop, Chick-fil-A. I don't think he heard me the first time because I said Johnson. He was like, oh, not you. And then he walked right back. <laughs> It was like, what's the name again? Johnson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Call me crazy. There's literally a Walmart right next to me. I can't do it. I can't do this particular Walmart. It's just too much going on in there. So I'm about to spend gas, time, and effort, and energy to go to Westerville for their Walmart because it's just a little bit better of an experience. And I have nothing but time today because I'm off. So time to eat my food and do a little drive. It's not that far from here. I'm trying out the new peach milkshake. I'm very excited about it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Baby, that is so good. Oh my gosh.
on your skin. Checking in from 6 o'clock p.m. <sighs> I must say, so I did run my errands today. Got some lunch, got the things that I needed. However, I feel like I've completely lost steam. I hate to say that, but I keep finding myself laying down somewhere scrolling you know what I'm saying like I'm just uh, my head's not in it and I'm running out of things to watch to give me something to distract me or motivate me so I'm just stuck I'm about to get on Instagram and ask for like uh, movie recommendations or series recommendations or something I need to start something right now I'm just watching some YouTube vlogs, but even that is like, I don't really follow a whole lot of vlog channels anymore, so when the few that I do watch don't post, there's nothing for me to watch. So I'm trying to do low hanging fruit things to like get me back moving. So I think I'm gonna move these uh, shelf things that I have in my closet downstairs because I've already emptied them and then that will mean this closet is done um and then the kitchen I think is what's stalling me because I didn't realize how much stuff we have in the kitchen there's so much stuff in the kitchen <laughs> like I feel like we don't have a lot but when it comes down to like packaging it and like putting the glass things with glass and like wrapping them all up so nothing breaks it's just giving a lot more effort than I was going for so I'm gonna try some of these low hanging fruit things and then I think I'm actually gonna pack the car up with a few items to take to his mom's house and then a few items to take to the storage unit which actually I don't know if these all fit in my car at the same time I was gonna say I could take those to the storage unit but yeah I just want to do a couple trips to the storage unit so maybe not a couple maybe just one trip to the storage unit today just to you know make sure I have the code working and all the stuff so I'm trying to get my mojo back. I really am. I did a lot of laundry today. I've done things. It's just not the like, ooh, bam, knock out the whole house energy that I started the day. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. taking glass containers I feel like they're easy to microwave and all that and they're cute in storage but they are not very stackable the I guess these are much better the the big ones don't really stack so um let me see if I can figure out how to get these in here because this is my last glass box I'm not doing no more glass boxes 
So we don't, we don't have to figure something out. Okay. Strong start. Yes. Now we can just put the wine glasses on top and we're done with that. Woo. I'm gonna stuff them. How that's helping anything but in my mind it, it fills the gap happy thursday it is thursday june 20th and the only person that needs a reminder of that is me let me explain <laughs> i think i told y'all that i had a braid appointment today um, I had booked it. Did I book it yesterday? I think I book it, booked it yesterday morning. I was so excited because I thought I had found somebody that was available, had good work, and could break me up because I told you all my hair is just getting in the way. It's annoying. I know I'm damaging it because I just don't care right now. So I was like, let me just get some braids to be able to do what I need to do. Book the thing, all excited. Y'all, I drove all the way there today. Literally, hair blown out, okay? Wash, deep condition, blown out. Drove all the way to the place, was texting the stylist, called her, asking, like, making sure I parked in the right place, getting her suite number, all of that. But her phone went straight to voicemail. So I'm like, Ugh, I don't got played, I don't got stood up. Y'all, I went back to my appointment confirmation only to realize that I had booked this thing for Thursday, July 18th. What? <laughs> Quite literally, what? What? So then I had to just text the stylist like, hey, sorry. <laughs> I just went back and read and realized that it's me. I'm the, I'm the drama. <sighs> I mean, I hadn't said anything to her like, where are you or nothing. I just was like, you know, asking her questions. So I was like, dang, now I don't bother her on her day off. Or maybe she was another client and I'm blowing her up. So embarrassing. I just need to sit and process my life. <laughs> so I did, I sat there and then I was like, okay, let me check Style Seat. Cause Style Seat usually has the folks who are like, you know, they're not always like the best braiders or the best stylists, but some of them really do have good work. And a good portion of them have like last minute sort of appointments. So I found a girl, good work, really nice ended up being when I like confirmed my appointment and she like made room for me to get fit in today. So she seems really cool, price was right. So I still ended up having a braid appointment today. It's just at five o'clock and it's currently 2.22. So I got food. Um, and then I just drove home to load up my car with some stuff to take to his mom's house. So yeah, I'm about to do that, but I'm just sitting here like, I have to tell them the way I was just the complete drama today. <laughs> okay, I'm just blabbing. I need to go in and do what I said I was gonna do, so let's go. I such
am so incredibly hot. And by hot, I mean actually hot. <laughs> There's a heat wave going on in Ohio. It's been going on for the last couple of days, if you ask me. But it is blazing hot outside. And of course, now is the perfect time for me to be taking things to the storage unit. So I was able to actually pack up my car very, very well. Um, with my first load so there's a lot that I don't know if you can tell but there's a lot that I fit in there um, so I'm gonna do my first of probably three drop-offs today maybe four drop-offs um, just to make some space up here so that we can start bringing other stuff from the basement up um, clear out the basement and basically just have the big items for the U-Haul this weekend, so. But yeah, my car is back to the brim. So I'm taking one more thing out with me and then we are heading to the storage unit for the first time, actually. We've had it since yesterday, but I didn't get around to actually going out there. Actually, we've had it since Wednesday, but I didn't get around to actually ever going out there, so we're going now. And let's just pray that I do not pass out due to dehydration. Um, speaking of, I need to fill up my water because we will not be passing out today. All right, I just finished up my second trip to public storage. Um, I could easily knock out two more, um, so I'm going to do my best to do two more, but I had to stop for some time because I need a little nourishment. It is so, how is this covered in, like, guac, if I didn't get guac, because they didn't wipe it off. Kind of gross. Okay. All right. I'm assuming he just split it across the the um you know the little prep station. Ooh. And somebody's butt got all over it. That's pretty gross. Okay. Anywho, stopped for a little a little meal. It is 9,000 degrees outside today. Wow. That is unbelievably hitting. But it's so hot, so I'm blasting the AC. Trying to recover every time I step out of my car. But overall, today has gone very smooth. Like, I'm very proud of my progress. And some of these items were kind of heavy. I mean, not terribly, but some of those boxes were heavy. And I'm out here closing my rings getting getting a sweat on getting a workout in mm. if you're curious my chipotle order whether it's burrito or a bowl is white rice no beans sorry i'm not mm, no thank you on the beans uh fajitas um half chicken half carnitas tomatoes, corn, sour cream cheese, and lettuce. Or if I do a salad so that the lettuce can be on the bottom, which is typically what I prefer in the bowl, um, I do the same thing but just say salad. This is making me happy. About to enjoy this, watch a little Netflix, kid you not. <laughs> and then we're gonna head back home for at least another round before babe comes home of uh, getting stuff in the unit i might wait for him to get home to help me with the third round um or maybe not because honestly that's gonna take a room in here i don't know y'all i was just checking in i'm about to eat now <laughs>
officially moving day, y'all. I am out of breath already, and all I did was wrap some couches, take a mattress down. Actually, those are pretty big things. I'm gonna give myself credit for that. Luther's brother is here to help us, and we got blocked last night. We were supposed to go take another load to storage, but they were closed. I thought storage units were 24 seven, but they're not. So we're loading up the truck now. My car's already loaded. We didn't get to drop it off last night. And yeah, so only a couple more things. Got to take down the TV uh, from the mount. Um, mattresses are down here and mattress bags. So things are happening. We are literally about to get out of here, y'all. Can y'all believe this? It was only like two months ago where I was telling y'all about how badly we wanted to get out of this house and we're leaving today. Tomorrow, the buyer's close. And we're out of here. What? What? And my brother-in-law are also blue 42. We are all blue out. However, all of our things are moved into his mom's place officially. Um, there's like two items, I think, that my husband accidentally put in the storage unit that were supposed to go to the house. So I'm about to meet him at the storage unit to switch those out. And then they're bringing one more item from the house which I was hoping to sell and it almost sold. A lady was gonna pick up today and then at the last minute she's like, my husband's still figuring out if it's gonna match our stuff. I'm like, girl, don't waste my time. So that one is solid wood, so it's very heavy. So they took everything else and then right now they have that in the truck to put that right at the edge so that um, if it does sell, I'm still gonna try to sell it. If it does sell, then it's right there and available for people. We're also going to try again at selling our washer and dryer. Um, probably for a lot less than I want it to sell for, but at this point, we'd much rather just have it out of the storage unit <laughs> and not have to worry about traveling with it. Um, in hindsight, I think we should have just listed our house for like 226 or something like that. Um, and left it as part of the home sale. Uh, or honestly just included in the home sale, to be honest. Regardless of however much we were gonna list it for. Um, but it's whatever at this point. Um, I had an inkling to keep the washer and dryer because we had wanted to do, well we are gonna do like a laundry room renovation and I wanted to do like the like countertop like wood countertop over top of them and so the washer and dryer that's included in our um, new home one of them is a, like a lift up so we wouldn't be able to do the shelf so that's why we're gonna try to keep our washer and dryer but it's just entirely too much to move them things like somebody understands washer and dryers are just not meant to be moved around <laughs> they're supposed to be bought and taken to their place and stay right in their place i don't know what i was thinking about not including them in the home sale yeah you live and learn so all that to say we said we'll figure it out if we really want to do a shelf in that room and we can't um figure out a design that gets around you know 
that lift up top. Then we'll just sell the brand new ones and have new ones that are front loading sent to the house because ain't nobody got time for all this. So, all that to say, we um, got it all in. The house is empty except for a box of cleaning supplies because uh, his mom is there right now cleaning out the house, helping us wipe down stuff and get it you know, decent for the people that are moving in tomorrow. So all of that is going on. I'm pulling into the storage unit right now. I probably sound crazy. I don't even know what I've told y'all in this moment, to be honest. I feel like this is all a fever dream. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but honestly, we make great time. It's 7.52 and we have until nine o'clock to get um, things into the storage unit. I am blue out, so I don't know if I'm going to come on here to do an actual close. Maybe I will try to later on. Yeah, I'll try to come back on and get <laughs> to a close because I don't even know what I'm saying right now. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. best ever oh my gosh y'all y'all are strong <laughs> So the house. Mm -hmm. you know, oh. I was about to say, dang, bro. I thought you were just wiping your face. <laughs> no. I didn't leave the exterior like I wanted to for them, but we did our best. You know? Shout out, Aaron. Shout out, Mama. Yes. Shout out to the fam bam coming through to help us today. We didn't have a lot of help, but it was mighty and strong. It was just enough. Fantastic Four. <laughs> we're about to go, y'all. Get some food. Go lay it down. Lay your head. <laughs> so I will tomorrow maybe start a new vlog or sometime this week. I don't know when I can gather myself and we'll start documenting the new in between season. Bye right, guys. Love you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next one. Bye.